that, I'm going to turn it over to the chair of the Massachusetts Gaming Commission, Ms. Catherine Judstein. Thank you, Bob and Matt and Encore of Boston Harbor for this invitation to your opening day. It is thrilling to be here to celebrate this truly historic moment for the Commonwealth. Encore of Boston Harbor's grand opening not only marks the arrival of an international entertainment destination on Everett's spectacular shoreline, but also symbolizes a new opportunity of, for economic growth for all of the citizens of Massachusetts. Massachusetts has one of the most stringent and most innovative gaming laws in the country, and its standards, as I said, are high. Encore Boston Harbor has met those requirements and indeed, in many instances, exceeded its commitments and the Gaming Commission's expectations, delivering a property of exceptional quality, providing, providing numerous options for transportation, and spending $70 million to provide the public with access to a waterfront that has been inaccessible for more than a century. Encore has demonstrated a relentless dedication to diversity and local hiring and spending, made a commitment to the promotion of regional tourism, and provided substantial mitigation funding to the host and surrounding communities. It is impossible to overstate the unprecedented levels of collaboration coordination, and shared focus that were required to achieve a transformation of this magnitude. On behalf of my fellow commissioners, Commissioner Cameron, Commissioner O'Brien, Commissioner Stebbins, Commissioner Zuniga, I congratulate Mayor De Maria and his administration, the many state and local agencies, and the countless community participants and stakeholders who played a major role in achieving this incredible feat. And to the team at the Massachusetts Gaming Commission, many of whom have worked tirelessly toward this moment for more than seven years, thank you for your commitment to ensuring the highest regulatory standards and for bringing to bear your collective expertise in licensing, workforce development, public policy, enforcement, finance, technology, diversity, and responsible gaming. The Commonwealth thanks you for your public service, unyielding professionalism, and at times personal sacrifice. And to all of you who anxiously await your first glimpse, I ask you not to only marvel at its beauty, but recognizing what Matt just said, to understand, uh, to appreciate the stunning craftsmanship of more than 7,000 diverse construction workers. More tradeswomen worked on this site than on any other construction project in the history of the Commonwealth. Today, we proudly celebrate so many historic firsts. Thank you, Encore Boston Harbor. And to those of you who will be their first patrons, enjoy. Thank you. 